The Central American Miners Program CAM was an American immigration policy established by the Obama administration on November 2014. The program allowed lawfully present parents in the United States the opportunity to request a refugee or parole status for their children residing in the Northern Triangle, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. The combination of being a transshipment point and the increase of gang violence in the Northern Triangle caused its region's insecurity. Among other countries in Central America, the Northern Triangle's gang violence is ranked among the worst in the world, due to an influx of unaccompanied minors entering the United States from Central America and being victims of violent crimes during the journey. The Obama administration initiated programs that partnered with Central American governments to combat the violence that influences minors to migrate to the United States. However, the violence in the Northern Triangle only escalated in 2015, prompting the Obama administration to expand the Central American Miners Program in 2016. The parole portion of the CAM program was terminated in August 2017, and new applications for the refugee portion of the program were no longer accepted as of November 9, 2017. Topic: History. President Obama's attempt in trying to mitigate the increase of Central American miners began in the summer of 2014 when he held a meeting with the presidents of El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. In his remarks, Obama expressed that all of the countries have a shared responsibility when it comes to dealing with the violence in Central American countries and the impact it can have on children. The concept of shared responsibility was also expressed by Asylum and International Operations Associate Director Joseph Longlua after the CAM program was established with USCIS. He expressed that the both USCIS and the State Department have a role in ensuring the success of the program. The CAM program was part of the larger United States Refugee Admissions Program (USRAP) of 2014. Within USRAP, the role of USCIS was established in how individual interviews would be conducted with the people seeking refugee status, as well as the interviews with the applicant's family to determine credibility. Although Vice President Biden announced the CAM program publicly on November 12, 2014, USCIS did not begin accepting applications until December 2014. Due to the growth of violence in the countries of the Northern Triangle, the Obama administration revealed they would be expanding the CAM program with purpose of broadening the people eligible to apply for refugee or parole status. Trump's new policy does not revoke refugee status. <laughs> <laughs> Implementation After Vice President Joe Biden's reveal of the program on November 2014, USCIS officials began training protocols on how to assess whether the minor in question would be eligible for refugee status or parole status. The CAM program is run by both the U.S. Department of State and USCIS. The application process began in December 2014, with the largest application pool coming from El Salvador. The CAM program did not grant undocumented parents the opportunity to apply. To qualify for the CAM program, parents in the United States must be lawfully present in order to request a refugee resettlement for their unmarried children in their native country. There is currently no filing fee for the application, however depending on the country the minors resides, medical exams and approved travel can range from $1,000-$1,500. Although the program was enacted in December 2014, applications were being accepted on January 28, 2016. There were 6,900 applications. Topic. Eligibility The most important eligibility requirement when applying to CAM program was that the parent requesting for their child must be legally present in the United States. Furthermore, the child the parent is requesting had to be from the El Salvador, Guatemala, or Honduras, unmarried, and under 21 years of age. Depending on the outcome of the application process, a child could be granted refugee status, parole status, or denied completely. In order to determine the legitimacy of the applicant's relationship, USCIS interviewed all family members, background screenings, and biographic and biometric security checks. If granted refugee status, medical exams were conducted and minor or child in question began their cultural orientation of the United States, whereas the home of the parents in the United States began to be assessed. Topic. Paroles. Unlike the refugee status, paroles do not grant a pathway to citizenship in the United States. 
The status of those granted parole is conditional and does not come with the benefits of the work permit or integration help once the minor or child has arrived in the United States. The parole status is also only applicable for two years with the possibility of extension or renewal if the minor or child abides by American laws. Trump's policy will not affect minors in the states under parole and are eligible to reapply. Topic. Expansion The expansion of the CAM program was introduced in November 2016 with the purpose of expanding the people who would be eligible for refugee, parole status from the Northern Triangle. Although the age restriction of 21 or less was still present, the lawfully present adult in the U.S. seeking refugee status for a family member could be either a parent, sibling, or caregiver. The most notable aspect of the expansion was that the country of Costa Rica agreed to assist the United States in providing a safe haven to 200 refugees. The expansion was also a way of informing individuals in the United States that Obama's attempt in sharing responsibility with the governments of the Northern Triangle had not been effective and that the violence in these countries had only gotten worse. Topic: Trump administration. Since Trump's executive order to push for immigration enforcement on border security in January, it initiated the termination process of the CAM program. After Donald Trump's executive order banned the entry of refugees, the CAM program was suspended. Since the CAM program was part of the larger refugee program President Obama established, the executive order halted the entry of refugees for 120 days. It also put 2,700 children who were already accepted on hold. Since Trump's new policy, about 3,000 minors in the program cannot come to the U.S. The parole portion of the CAM program was terminated in August 2017, and new applications for the refugee portion of the program were no longer accepted on November 9, 2017. 